Stop the hunger for your love. Ooh. No. Okay. Cool. The bitrate is still ass. Um. My college student is one. Cool. Um. Yeah, I think we just aren't in good shape. So, I think I'll stream for as long as got a little old word. Um I'll stream as long as I can, but the second time it goes down, we're done. Like <laughs> who cares? It's not it was simply not in the cards. Ernan is losing her <laughs> spooky losing her runner right now. Um Yeah. I, d I I feel a bit bad that it's not working now. Um that I found something to do. Um And I'm inside too, and it's been a really long time since I've been inside. <laughs> Look. He was, it was not right, what I saw. I'm simply, I'm simply drawing the truth. Miss Amira. Oh no, he's got the pinstripe. Someone do something! Mm -hmm. I remember being really upset about the pose. Um. Like having trouble with it. It's funny, I keep giving art advice to other people. What if I follow the art advice? I feel like I need to. Um. Uh. I feel like I have to do studies or something, you know what I mean? Big fan of studies. I... The problem with doing studies for me is I think they're boring. I'm like, I don't want to do that. I want to draw my favorite character. This sucks. Um, but <laughs> at the same, t at this point, I, <laughs> for me as a consumer, I like that. I mean, I, the thing is, is that me, a consumer, I also like them. I like, there's, hold on. Let me see if, if I can find it. There's, I recently bookmarked a really nice piece. There's this thing that people do. So, okay. There's a, there's this post that's been going around, right? That's been like, oh, blah, 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 blah. you can't draw a background. So the, this is what you do if you can't draw backgrounds. Blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, shit like that. Um... And so, let me okay, let me show you the full context of the of the meme. Um. So, here's the initial one, right? I don't know. Let me move this. To be to be better. Not the background. There we go. Um, 
So this is the beginning of it all. It's really funny how artists who can't draw backgrounds only do one of four things, and it's square, solid color, funky pattern, the void. Um, personally, I am the void. I hate square, and I never do solid color. I'm a I'm a void fan. Um, then they updated it with this, um, this thing. The, the alignment chart. So lawful good is square. Doodles is neutral. Lo good, neutral good. Um, then funky pattern is chaotic good. Circle is lawful neutral. The void is neutral neutral. Um, gradient is chaotic neutral. They probably didn't have like a full gradient thing going on. Um, lawful evil is funky shape. Neutral is the reverb, which I think is the funniest one on the planet, and I've never seen that shit before. Um, and then chaotic evil is random picks, which is extremely funny. Um, and I want to be neutral good so fucking bad. Like, hold on. This. Like, they just did, like, some flags, and they kind of gradient off, and then there's, like, some... A funky shape and it's like it's like filling empty space with other stuff doodles are so cute and I want to be able to do that so bad um here's a uh, Samurai Jack and Johnny Bravo which is and a little bit of uh, Powerpuff Girls as well which I think is really funny um, slay, I agree. And this is really great. Sometimes I see art and I'm like, wow, I want to go there so bad. And then I actually get there and I'm like, I want to kill myself. <laughs> it's just annoying. Because I sit there and I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go. Put me in. And then it, and it's not fun anymore. I... And I feel like I don't I can't decide or tell if taking a break, oops, wrong one, is the correct answer. Because I, despite me insisting that I don't draw right now, that's a fucking lot. I'm still doing shit. You know what I mean? I'm still doing graphic design. That's it, actually. But I'm still doing shit like that. I'm still doing artistic junk. So I, I'm not actually taking a fucking break now, am I? And I just don't... This has been the most frustrating art block. I've never had it this bad. And it's, I, it's really starting to grind my fucking gears, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and I don't know how to fix it. Because I want it to go away right now. Right now. I'm done. Or do, you're done. You're done. I want to have fun drawing right now. Um, I, I want to have fun drawing and I want to be better right now. Or I want to take steps towards being better. But if I can't draw and I'm not having any fucking fun... I can't exactly get better because I'm not gonna want to draw. I yeah, I just I just don't know what to do. It's starting to get really frustrating though, and I having no solution is just. I'm sorry, man. I'm not sure. Like whenever I just don't know what to write. I just read and get an. Exp I've never had an awful. You're really living the dream, dude. Because I've had. I've had art block before where I just don't feel like drawing anything. And typically it is a result of school. Um, but I'm not in art school anymore. I have a job now. I don't need to be so concerned. You're good. You, you should be fixed now. But I'm not. And I mean like 
it could be argued, oh, well, you just started your job and you might not, be, you're not quite comfortable with it yet. But also, I'm fucking raring to go. I was raring to go this morning. I was like, all right, time for work. Time to fucking go in there. The only weird thing is that I go in and there's no clock in. So I'm just like, okay, I'm here now. Uh, better get to fucking work. So there's there's no like, official like official. All right, it's time to start. It's just I'm here. You're starting now. Um, and it was really funny actually. My um. Uh, boss was like, yeah, round up, get you more money, cause she has to approve it. Um. So she's like, yeah, more money for you. I was like, sweet. Um, slay. I actually can't get into my online timesheet right now, though, which is um, not my favorite thing in the world. But hopefully it'll be fixed soon. I'm not dealing with it until Thursday, though. Get the fuck out of here. Um, definitely a slay. But... Now that I have a job, it's like, okay, I should be normal now. But I'm not. Those wrinkles ain't nothing to be scared of. <gasps> the last time I had an art block was back in... Um... When I was taking drawing and comp. It's okay. I guess. <laughs> um, the last the last really bad art block that I had was during um drawing and comp, and that was in 2020. I haven't had one this bad ever. Cause it's lasted like I don't know, the last month ish. And I just don't know how to f how to fix it. Um, cause I, I I guess I'm drawing right now, but like at the same time, will I like it in the end? Will I actually finish it? Won't you pull me? Something good. Anything will do. Something said. Step number one might just be drawing, though. Like, even if you don't finish the piece, at least you do something. I guess that's true. I guess I haven't really... drawn anything... um... on stream in a minute. Because, like, what was last week? Like, what did we do? I'm always thirsty. Let me look, actually. And dry. Something cool. Was that the... Something cool. Um... No thing. Oh yeah, I tried to animate that one time. That went like ass. And then I did Art Quest Day. I guess I didn't really try very hard. A bunch of random shit one day. It was like Nightwing because I joined in the middle. Yeah. I tried to animate that day. Um, And I think I ended up doing... Um, and 
then I had a request or whatever that that one guy. Um. Thing will do. Yeah, that one wasn't very fun for me. Um, I guess I don't, I haven't given myself much of an opportunity to draw whatever I want. I don't typically do. Mainly because I don't know what I want to draw, I guess. Only for a moment, then the moment's gone. Um, mainly because I haven't had anything that I really cared to draw in a minute because the last thing I really enjoyed was bully um and that was fun and everything but once um school started that year it was pretty much over by way of having a lot of fun um I guess you could draw I, I guess so um Close to the ground, though we refuse to see. Um, I'm not having a bad time with this. It's just like, if that makes sense. It's just, what the fuck does that mean? It's just scribbly. Um, and because of all the like art tutorials I've been watching, it's because he's adult. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> All the art tutorials I've been watching lately have all been um really focused on um line quality, I guess. Um and so I not sketching really well is kind of pissing me off. And it's like it's not that my art is bad, it's just that it could be better with a little line quality practice. I don't trust myself is what I've discovered. According to all these videos, line quality is like it's line confidence. So if you just draw a line, you're like, all right, that's the fucking line I'm going with. Here I go. There's my anime character. Um, and I keep, it's just hard to, like, put the line stuff into practice. He's silly. Um, because it's, like, there's a good line speed or whatever. It's, like, fast enough to where you're not thinking too hard about it, but slow enough to control it. So you don't sit there and you go... Like that. And you don't go. It's like. A nice middle speed. So you consciously start and stop. And it typically looks. Really nice. Not that angle. Okay I can I can just do this angle. But that's okay. Um, impl implementing that concept into a sketch. Huh? You know what I mean? Like, how? <laughs> how? Makes up her mind. Um. 
I'm in love with an uptown girl. And I'm tired of her high class ties. Prison from her uptown boys. What the hell is that thing? I'm gonna put it on him. Can't afford to buy her pearls. Hold on, let me look. Gun holster. Chest. Sexy. They're not getting it. They're not getting it. The gun people aren't understanding. Yeah, I mean, like, this is going good so maybe it's just like finding fun shit dilfs to draw and then when you get bark 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 just stop and then you'll slowly increase your time until barking that's true and then hopefully I'll have fucking ideas you know what I'm saying I do cause I do every time I write a poem I'm like I think I could draw something for this Yeah, no one's getting the vibe. Mm, I'm in love with an uptown girl. And in the wagon of a traveling show. Um. Reach a little gospel. I don't know why I was having so much trouble with this pose the first time I was doing it. I say as if I wasn't drawing this like a year ago. Or longer. <sighs> but every night all the men would come around. Man, I forgot March was fucking popping, dude. This month fucking rocked. Oh, shit! You're gonna love what, what comes next. It's not even gonna be fucking funny. Road to the West in Memphis. I forget what album I was supposed to listen to after the Eagles one. The Eagles album is so fucking mid, dude. I listened to it um, I know it's only Tuesday, so it has a chance to be better, but right now, it's... <sighs> it's boring, man. Um, I am not jiving with the Eagles album, because it's like, Take It Easy is good, which is the song everyone fucking likes. Then it's Witchy Woman, which I like, and then the rest of the album is kind of mid. Um, very unfortunate, in my opinion. I'll do whatever you could. Um, it's okay. Um, I was excited for it because I thought it'd have, because there's a song called Take the Devil, I think. Um, and it's. Like, um, okay, the devil, perfect, could be Halloween-y, you know what I'm saying? No, nope. it's the shittiest song possible. It's not, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not Halloween-y. I did listen, before I forget, I should add that to my playlist, hold on. I forgot the song. Never mind. Um, nope, I remembered. Okay. 
Um, here it is. The cars. The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, me like we got history. The love was mine and none of the time. Don't let you slip away. Okay. Hello again by the cars. The cars really enjoy being Halloween coded because I have another car song on here. The rest of the album that I listened to at the time wasn't very Halloween y, but um, the one with Hello again on it. That was the only song I liked was Hello Again. Because very briefly, a friend um, and I did an album challenge where we like swapped albums. <sighs> um, so it was, I gave her, I think, Control, SZA. Because that, mm, that album fucking rocks. I don't know if I I like it as much as SOS. Um but I'd have to I'd have to listen to both side by side, I think. And then I haven't listened to Control in a minute. I want this forever, yeah. Um but She gave me The Stranger, which was what kickstarted my Billy Joel fetish. Um, so, shout out. Uh, and then the next one, I think I gave her Cool Tape version 3, which is kind of... <laughs> I don't want to say it's mid now, but I listened to it and I was like, eh. It's probably because I wasn't in the mood to listen to it. Because um, sometimes... I've been putting on shit lately and like some of this music that I used to listen to and used to really really love um I just don't want to listen to it um which is a little unfortunate um I mean because I know I like it um But I feel like as a result, <laughs> music des needs to be expanded desperately. I I was thinking about trying to do like a an album club situation. Um, because I was thinking about how her and I had shared um albums and uh and how my music taste as a result was um shaped forever uh <laughs> uh um and i th i think that's really cool especially when it's like you're sharing music with your friends <sighs> um um Oh. Uh, it can be who we are. But what was I saying? Something, 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 album, something, 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 club. Um, I don't know. I just think it'd be cool. Uh, cause. So an old co co-worker or whatever was like, I did an album club or whatever. And I was like, that's the sickest shit I've ever heard in my life. I do not want to be in, in one with you, though. Um, Because <laughs> he was like, I didn't like um, the best Childish Gambino album of all time. And I was like, what is wrong with you? Um, I basically, he should have gotten the electric chair for that one, to be completely honest with you. Um, fucking, uh, how dare you? First of all, that, that album's a fucking masterpiece. You take that shit back right now. 
or psychopath. Um. But. Yeah, it's a little hard to do, like, music with other people. Because sometimes you have really different tastes. And it doesn't work out super well. Which is why I like the thing that I'm doing. Where you listen to a new album every week. I don't know if I should do it every other year or something. So I have some time to kind of like organically find new music. But at the same time, I I think... Um, uh, I think expanding tastes and finding new musicians that I enjoy on purpose is a lot of fun. And honestly, I don't know what the fuck I would have listened to all year if I hadn't. I probably would still be listening to Billy Joel, to be completely honest with you. Um, which is fine. Like, it's none of it's none of my business <laughs> what I would be doing. Um in this hypothetical. Uh but I'm think I've been thinking a lot about how I should set it up. Um, cause I can do albums again, just like the way I, I was doing it. Cause I tried to format it a little better or whatever. Um, the first time, the fr I'm sorry, the first couple months, cause month one I was like Billy Joel, baby. Um, cause month one I listened to two Billy Joel albums. Um, man, January fucked so hard. It wasn't even funny. Literally unrivaled. March came through. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm really excited to rate all my my albums. I mean, I I rated them on Twitter for a hot minute there, um, and then Twitter started getting shit. So it's like, what's the point of keep continuing this? Somebody did like my um rating of Apollo, whatever the fuck Roman numeral, um by what's his nuts. Shit, what was his name? Why don't I remember? What the fuck is going on? It was an orange album. Steve Lacey. Holy shit. Um. But someone liked my review of that album um, recently. And I was like, how the fuck did you find this? Um, mainly because that was a May album. And it's fucking October now. And everything on Twitter is super dated. Someone also liked a really old Bill and Ted comic that I had drawn. Um, and it looks like ass now. But, um, man, I was a big comic head back in the day. I did a lot of comics, like, like small mini, like, one-off type things. Um, because I could never commit to more than one, like, one or two pages. Um, but, I was, I just did those. There was a Bill and Ted week that somebody invented, because, you know, that type of shit is invented, let's be honest. Um, uh, someone invented one, and I was participating in it. I did so much shit for that. It was like... It was seven days, so it was a week. I did, I think, three days. But they were all comics. <laughs> it's invented? I thought Bird Flash Week was made by God? And if that's what you'd like to think, you can. Um, But some, some people just are, are just like... Hey, do you guys want to draw this ship with me? And then everyone gets up and is like, hell yeah, brother. Let's fucking go. I think he looks too sad. Let's. Um. Oh. 
Okay, that's much better. She just wasn't thinking. Um. Is his best friend. What the fuck was I talking about? Think I would ever love you, even if I could, Luis. 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 to say Bill and Ted week. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, now that I'm talking about it, let me get it out. Um. Maybe I did four days. I don't remember. Um. I think I might have did four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Because one of them was... I had a font that I really liked. Oop! Okay, hold on. Okay. That, nope. Shh, shh. Nope, she's fine. Okay. I can't open too many files in Saya once. So, I'll save this really quick and shut her down. Shh, you're okay. Um, so this one I think was based on a movie night prompt. So I was like, they're snuggling. So that was that one. Um, definitely got a little funky there because I, the lines are a little weird because I was drawing on my laptop at the time. I drew a lot on my laptop. Well, not a lot. I drew some. I did a whole animation project on my laptop, um, which was kind of crazy. This was day f four, three. I don't remember. It might not. It might not have even been a day. Um, and then this one is date night, and I was like, "What if they go somewhere fancy because they feel like they have to because that's what a date is to them in their in their silly idiot brain." Um. And then they're like, ew, cringe. And then they're just like, let's go to McDonald's. So then they go to McDonald's. And this is where it all began. Because you'll fucking notice. Um. Because they were two of the originals. And I was like, what Beanie Babies were released at McDonald's in this year? I think I said 99 or something. Like, as close as I could get to when one of the movies came out. Because I think 92 was when 2 came out. So I was like, great. Patty is purple, like Bill, in my brain. And then Snort is red, like Ted, in my brain. So they each get their opposite beanie. So Bill gets Snort, Ted gets Patty, and then they trade. Because they obviously get Happy Meals. Fuck you. Um, these were a lot of fun. Because I didn't commit to the background. But I added them anyway. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't. I didn't color it. So it wasn't super complicated. I think I traced. So it was like a background. But it wasn't like terrible to do. Also I made sure that their suits. Were the wrong sizes. So Ted's is too small. And Bill's is too big. Fuck you. Because they don't know how to wear suits. Um, so that was a big one. And then this one is domestic. So this is when they're. Married. Or whatever the fuck. Um, so they're doing the dishes. <laughs> Or whatever. I was butt and dog. Okay, what? Was I on crack? Uh, hello? Um. 
So they're like a little bit older or whatever. And then the next one was like historical or some shit. Um, and I was like, they're gonna kill Hitler because I think it'd be fun, but like on accident. Um, so they're gonna land the uh, um, phone booth on Hitler because I thought it'd be funny. But really quick, there was one more where we had to draw them as kids. So this was them, and I, they were listening to uh, they they were watching, um, Mister Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> They were so little. <laughs> um, so my Bill and Ted era fucking unrivaled. I was drawing so much shit it wasn't even funny. Hold on. Let me get you my comic. Um it's the it's the TikTok where the, this guy is like, hey. I got you a present. Um, is this is a bag? I quoted the whole thing. This is a bag full of chapsticks and pictures of us. So then he's like, "Try it on," and like forces his friend to try it on, and then gives him a, a, a kiss. Um, and then he does like gets a constellation of like a certain set of stars from the first time they hung out or whatever. And then at the end, it's like. What did you get for Elizabeth for her birthday? Or like her your girlfriend that was in the TikTok. Um, it's like I didn't a candle. I didn't know what else to get her. And then it Oh my god. Sometimes straight men on TikTok are they really said gay rights, which is fucking crazy. Um So then back to this, I guess. Oh, just fucking kidding. Did I save it? You want to know what would be fucking crazy if I, is if I didn't save it. So Okay, just kidding. Wait <laughs> a minute. Get in your way. Um, I think I need to mess with the arms. Not mine. Um, concerned if you would have had a good time. Door in disgust. There's nothing more to discuss. They just fell from the sky. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that my Bill and Ted era was really great. I did so much art for Bill and Ted, and I would give my fucking, like, I was trying to come up with, like, a silly body part. I would... I would give my big busty naturals for the ability to draw that much again and have fun doing it. <laughs> no! But I would. I would do it. Um. You might have actually said. Um. I, I, and, and it happened again. It, it was always during the summer because I didn't take summer classes for a minute there. Um, because it happened again during Bully when I really liked Bully. Um, and it was the next year that that happened. It was 2022 because 2021 was my Bill and Ted year, and then 2022 was my Bully year. Um, and so I drew a bunch of shit for Bully. Um, not to the same degree. Um, but I did a head over heels thing. I did a bunch of head shots of different bully characters. I don't know what the fuck this was, but the my Kirby, um, Mandy twin agenda fuck yeah I did um I was starting to do side stuff I loved character design Gord cause I was trying to make them more interesting you know cause he was fucking ugly in the game so I fixed him uh <laughs> um 
but that was a lot of fun to do. Um, and it's, so it's always during the summer and this past summer, I didn't have that. So I guess maybe I feel that was one of the main reasons why I hated this summer is I didn't get that sun burst of creativity that I typically get, um, during the summer. Um... So that was definitely frustrating. Um, we watched God them ew, yeah. And I mean, like, but the thing is, is that I, I but also not ew, <laughs> you know. Fair enough. Um, it was definitely. I, I never really got into Vampire Diaries in the same way that I got into Bill and Ted or Bully. I don't. And I mean, I was like kind of into Resident Evil during my Resident Evil playthrough. Like I played through, since I played through all the games, I was like mm, a fan, you could say. <sighs> um, But it wasn't to the same degree because it kind of got the shaft um, considering the uh, time. Because it was, like, in fall when we started. So I was like, I want to finish the entire game series by Christmas. And I think I did um, end up doing that. Um, kinda. <laughs> it was all thanks to um, me hating 5 and 6. <laughs> but we'll, we'll say it counted as Dreet. Um... <laughs> Miss you five and six? No. <laughs> no. Someone was like, wow, I don't think six could get a remake because of how many intertwining uh, storylines there are. And I was like, "Do yeah, they need to put six in the garbage and just start over because it was ass. They weren't even, like, scary or whatever. Like, four, um ran so village could walk um and don't get me wrong i am a fan of village i would even say that village mall walked like it went a little fast but four was the resident evil game like shut the fuck up that shit was awesome so people who have anything good to say about five in immediate like oh like who made this in comparison to four like I can't, I can't even believe you'd say anything good about it when you put it, pit it against four, because that's what I was doing. Is I came, I was fresh from four, and it was one of the greatest games I've ever played. And it was very long. I'm not typically used to playing super long games like that. Like, um, Resident Evil One pissed me off because it was twenty fucking hours. Um, and then so was Resident Evil Four. Um, and even though I didn't love that it was that long, I was still, um, a huge fucking fan. Whoa. That's, it's a little far. Um, take me back. Um. Um. Yeah, I'm not a fan of five or six. And then we jumped into seven and I was I was really excited for seven because everyone I've ever spoken to has been and who has played Resident Evil has been a fan of seven. Um, So having <laughs> so arriving to seven was really exciting. Um, I was definitely not giving six much of a chance because I knew seven was next. Um, and it was really good, except for the fucking boat part. The boat part was awful. No one likes the boat part. Certainly not me. Um, I can't 
Was that the one I took like eight billion years to finish? Because I think I, the last playthrough of that one, I took like six or seven hours to finish it just because I wanted it done because we hit the boat part. And I was like, okay, we're, we're almost done, right? Right? And then we played for like three more hours. Was, Jesus. Um, really chasing the bliss of my Resident Evil era. I mean, not really. We've got Toontown now, so I'm not super upset. <laughs> like, I'm not thinking of a new game to play or anything. Um, especially because Toontown is taking so long. Um, and he's just like, yeah, uh, Remy, uh, he's just like, yeah, we, um, don't have, um, once we're done with the playgrounds, there's still more game. It's like, more? <laughs> Um, cause I've never reached the last playground before. Um, but it's definitely, um, what I thought the end of the game would be. Um, and honestly, at that point, if, unless we're still really rocking with it, um, we might have to put it on hold. Um, or something. Because I don't want... I don't know. You've just been playing for a really long time and I don't want to get us too tired of it or anything. Remy makes it fresh, of course. But I do miss playing other things. Like, l gently, lightly, I miss it. Um, But luckily we have Cinderella Phenomenon now, so we have a backup game. Uh... Which might be fucking game of the year. I don't know. I've been thinking a lot about the end of the year. <laughs> um, stream. Last year it went really shitty. But the year before that. When I didn't um, work an unfathomably, unfathomable amount of time. Um, to make a trophy and then have it be destroyed. Um, I dressed up like... Uh, all fancy and I was like I'm an announcer um for <laughs> the the game awards or whatever which I thought was really funny um but last year I arrived to stream d severely depressed and fucking exhausted um so, <laughs> so um no dude I'm such a big fan of Cinderella phenomenon it's not even fucking funny it's it's game of the year no doubt um unless we play something insanely good um right after which is fucking virtually impossible it's it's gonna have to be the greatest game of all fucking time for it to be cinderella phenomenon because cinderella phenomenon is the game i'm excited to figure out which route is my favorite though because when playing the game the first time karma was kind of the only option it felt like because he was the least weird option. It was like, okay, you can date a 12-year-old, your brother, um, locked option, <laughs> um, or the annoying guy. Did I miss one? Or karma. And karma's route, um, it's kind of annoying. Like, the good route. I remember the bad route being a lot more fun to play. Um, which is weird. <laughs> yeah. I liked, I like him. He is the most interesting character, and I will die on that hill. Um, but it's definitely... Lafayette. Um... Maybe I put the strap up here. That feels better, I think. I can't. I don't know. Um. It. What was I talking about? Yeah, Car I don't know. Karma is like the the most interesting of all the characters. Walt is the most boring, interestingly enough. He is too open. He's like, yeah, I'm a witch and I 
um have the Neverland curse, so I'm young now. And he's too nice. You know, like, where's the drama going to be at for him? Like, what's going to happen there? Whereas with Rumple, he's just fucking annoying. And then Karma is, like, the exact opposite of Walt. And it's like, um, I'm not going to tell you anything about my curse. Which could kill me later on. But we don't have to talk about it. What they seem. Um, I'm going to paint it. We ball. Um, so annoying. I agree. Um, that's very bright. Maybe a little less. A little. Okay. That feels more skin toned to me. Um, uh, About a time. To that Malibu line. Baby, I'm out of time. Um, then Fritz has the same problem where he's really fucking nice. So, like, what do you do? I guess the drama is going to be that Alcaster is always kind of the villain. So, like, what happens there? Um, or whatever. And then... Rod was just fucking annoying the whole goddamn time. He is just a bitch. Do you know? She tells me she don't like Elvis. I say I want a little less conversation, please. Um, oh, he got the wingtip shoes. I will not be doing that. So does it reset after you do an around? Yes. Like we have, to, like our, her personality resets. We have to reread all the dialogue. It just doesn't feel that way because I skipped through all of it. Um, it does. After we did two routes, it unlocked both Waltz and Fritz. So they are options now. But, th like, technically, the storyline reset. Like, all of our knowledge regarding the fact that we are the Tenenbaum bearer, Tenenbaum bearer, or whatever the fuck. We are oh, the daughter of a witch, which was, oh, oh my god, way fucking less significant in Karma's arc than it was in Rod's. Rod made a huge fucking deal out of that for no goddamn reason. Um, or we did during that. I feel like during Karma's it didn't even fucking matter. Um, but that's none of my business, I guess. Um, um, but yeah, reset the the word reset after playing Undertale. My brain is really broken. That's such a good Halloween game to play, Loki. I wish we had picked that one. I don't think enough people picked that one. Don't get me wrong, I like Luigi's Mansion and everything, but Undertale is so. I miss her. I'm I'm really itching for Deltarune to come out. Um. It's been so long. I think it's been like a couple years. Um, I don't know if three, four, and five are all coming um out together though. Oh, hi, Naj. How are you? What's going on? Um. Um. See the gates are down. From go running wild. Oh, baby, I'm on fire. Um. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if three, the chapters three, four, and five are coming out together, um, or not, or if they're coming out individually, um, 
but it, it does. It, it, whatever comes out next, free or not, I'm fucking there. It's not. It don't. No question. Was making something cool in Blender, but the render doesn't match the render in the 3D viewport. So take the break. Ooh, that's that sounds fucking awful. Um, I hope your break treats you well. Ooh, uh, ooh, little baby, I'm on fire. Been down the wire. I really got to get back into Blender. I did such a good job for like the first like two or three weeks of like learning it. And then I just stopped using it, which was really unfortunate. Lawrence, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Um, yeah, he was really fun to do. And I... The problem was is that I hit a roadblock in the uh, one hit blender wonder moment. So true. I did really want to. I'm doing the wingtip shoes. <laughs> um, I'm just c copying whatever the fuck his picture has. Um, little baby, I'm on fire. Um. I don't know what wingtip shoes now that I look like now that I think about it, but whatever. Um, just to see a death here. Um, but the re the re topologizing part, um, really fucking sucked ass. Um, I'm not even I'm not even gonna like um tiptoe around that. Um, it really sucked, and I was looking at a separate one, um, and it was like, if you want to animate retopologizing, you have to think completely different for it to be a good animation retopology. And because, don't get me wrong, just modeling to model is a lot of fun, and I do think, like, 3D printing stuff could be interesting, because I was thinking about 3D modeling all of my, like, Game of the Year trophies or whatever, since it, what happened last time. Um, <sighs> plug-in for that. I, the, the thing that would concern me about a plug-in would be, um, if, if it would be good for animation. Um... So I I would definitely have concerns about it. And honestly, I, learning how to do it myself couldn't hurt. As soon as you start thinking that way, I'm sure it'll be a lot easier. Though a boring process, it would be helpful to learn. Um, and I'm sure rigging isn't the most fun shit either. I haven't even gotten to that part yet, though. Um... I have no the fuck idea how to rig. Um. I would like to. Uh. Know how to rig. Because that's like the, the, the animation part. Or whatever. Um. It's hard to make a plan. Um. I'm learning rigging. Rigging now. It's at least easy to create the bones. Which I assume is like step one. Um, I'm not mad for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a project that I'd like to get back into. I just don't know when a good time to do that would be. Because I feel like I'm doing 8 billion other things all the fucking time. Because um, I would... Priority number one is definitely figuring out my Twitch graphics, I fear, which is kind of boring for, um, uh, other people because they're not going to get to see it. Um, but I'm hoping to be able to redo those by um 
uh, January. Um, and I don't want to run around telling people that and then not have it done. Which, with the way it's going, seems very likely that that will be the case. Unfortunately. Um. Ooh, he's got the what do you want from me, please eyes. Curse of the black and die every time. There's so many like things I'd like to learn, like to, like to animate in three D. So then. Picking a model, like something to model, um, is also difficult. Um, cause I started with Lawrence, but I didn't have anything that I wanted to animate him doing. Um, so it was definitely, um, rough. Go, it's more about the things that you take with. Uh huh. Actually, the leather can stay that color. Um. Nope. Uh. I take. I. I. I always think of projects that are way more than I can handle. Um, let's make that like a little wider. Do, 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 do. Multiply. Oh. Ooh, ooh, who did that to him? Get that shit out of here. That I should work on my escape. As long it's bound to break. Some elastic turn Just sing the song for heaven's sake. Ooh. True. Truth follows me around. I've needed to run an ad for like a good 20 minutes <laughs> to be honest i keep looking at it and i'm like i'll pretend that's not there he's so elegant he's he's aged so well northeast song northeast song North Sun The child in your head Ooh. 
your mind dreams of redress. Oh shit. Happy 905, everybody. So true. Goodbye to see you, friend. Good the bit I go in bed. Pixie Mountain said. Thank you for your happy 905. It's appreciated as always. When you go to this car, down the dusty side. The worst of time. Next mountain said. Do do. Take me far enough to say we're gone. I'm gonna lose weight, weight and be the f and get the fattest ass ever, so I can be Elastigirl girl as a joke. So true. That's the dream right there. Where the- okay. Whatever. I'm not gonna think on this too hard. This what's inside your head. We've looped. Somebody stop him. Rev. Rock side to side. Same table. You spread your name by line on mine. I heard this sucks. My worth, my trust. I'm first as fuck. I learned I must. I act decent. Just have a meaning. I just don't understand where this fucking art style is coming from. It's starting to piss me off. Like, what the fuck is going on?
I like how I said, I need to run an ad, and then didn't fucking run an ad. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. To the side, to the side, to the side. Is it all long ago? Who a Discord message? It's an at everyone in another server. Boo. I'm not. Po I'm not popular. What do we deserve? How's my way? All my way. You were so still, so it's like, fucking throws it again, then you were scared of it. My bad. I'm just so focused, you know?
okay, draw draw all the time, please. Why that's me? Epic still no ad moment. Oh shit. You're right. My bad. Okay. Since you asked, I'll run it now. I have to piss anyway. Um, so everybody sit tight.
Whoops, wrong button. Very sorry. Okay, I'm back now. I think I'm going to change the music. We've moved on from the good shit. Orville Peck. Thank you, it is good to be back. Maybe I'll put on my like, see what that that holds for us. Interesting. A bit of a deeper cut. Alright, let's see what we got. I think we could probably finish this today. And maybe I'll hit the hit the doodle at the end. Who fucking knows? Give them nobody else. Give them nobody else. Give from nobody else. Give you what you can handle. Did I say thank you for the welcome back? Um, I read it and then uh, maybe said thank you. Anyway, okay, cool. Couldn't remember. I was like, oh god, am I the worst person alive? Maybe. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. Um. Anyway, I feel like it's it's been getting a little quiet in here. How are we all doing? Um. Hope we're doing good. I found out what I was doing. Oh, congratulations. There was a hidden object. There's an object rendering that I didn't. Oh, okay. That would explain it. I'm good. I'm just working on other stuff. Not my room, of course, because that's too important. Of course. Um, I'd hate for you to be working on something important. Um, honestly. <laughs> Um, homework is important, too, to be fair. Oh, shit. Speaking of homework, I should have worked on my assignment that was literally already fucking late. So now it's going to be late by two days, which will be fun. But that's fine. It's a little late for that. Handle. Do what you can handle. Um, I did start editing my, uh... Pentoom, which I'm really liking. I think we're supposed to start editing stuff this week. So if I so tomorrow, got a lot on the dock tomorrow. Um, because I have to go to class, and that's so I have to start doing my homework tomorrow, Wednesdays. Um, so then that's my day off. I do homework. I'm all set there. And then I'm good to go to work on Thursday and not have anything to worry about. Um, cause I'm sorry. D um, even though my boss was literally like, yeah, you can work on homework if you want to. Uh, I already feel guilty texting people back on the clock. So it's definitely going to be one of those situations that I'm going to have to, like, ease into it a little bit. I feel like I have so much to do. And it might just be because, um, my secondary boss guy thing gave me more shit to do today for no fucking reason. Um, uh... He was just like, yep, since you're here, you can do some some of this. Th thanks. As, as if I didn't don't already have, like, 
training bullshit to do, but whatever, I guess. No, fuck me. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I, uh, luckily, my real, actual, honest-to-God boss is coming back from her family vacation thing, um, on Thursday, so things should be relatively back to normal by then. Um, I don't know what kind of shit she's planning on having me do, but... Um, hopefully it's more interesting than the shit I got up to today. Holy fuck. Um, I would really enjoy enjoying the things that I'm working on. That'd be pretty fucking sick. Nope. Um... I I'm I'm so fucking scared of of her expecting me to know everything. Um when she gets back, like um the stuff on the list she gave me wise. Uh but my ass doesn't know anything. Arguably. Not any of the important shit. She she sent me an email. It was like, "Yeah, you can learn the Library of Congress shit." Here you go. I was like, "Okay." I didn't even get to that. I was going in order. On the list. It, that shit's like number seven. She sent me an email about it, so now I'm nervous about it or whatever. She said she, she said we would work on reshelving. I don't know why I would need to work on that. I know how to do it. I guess I'd need to know the Library of Congress thing first. Now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. Oh, right, it's your third day. I guess so. Everything just felt so easy today. I'm like, okay, I need to be further along. Um, and it's weird with how much stuff, um, I've got going on for a part time employee who, like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, I feel like my job matters. A mm. Absolutely not. Get the fuck out of here. American Pie? Absolutely. Go. Go on. Um. I forgot what the fuck I was saying. I was distracted by, um, a song I didn't want to listen to. Take one more step. Deep inside the music. Died. Oh yeah, I was talking about how crazy um it is that I'm a, a part-time employee who's like treated like ass. I mean like everybody is being really nice and everything, so like that's not the problem, but there's definitely like some some weird shit regarding like my responsibilities like it feels like i am basically given the same exact tasks um i mean you're doing a lot of shit it feels that way and i mean like so far one of the tasks has been extremely fucking menial um but then like um the like running the library like checking shit in and that just feels like a regular librarian task um and then calling people and 
And I mean, honestly, I don't think the calling people thing will be as bad as I'm making it out to be. However, I literally, honest to fucking God, took this job or applied to this job so I wouldn't have to take any fucking phone calls. Because there was another position at the same place um, that had a lot of... Um, we don't need this. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, that had a lot of calling elements to it. And I literally didn't apply to that one because of how many, how much calling was in it. And he, my fucking secondary boss was like, I'm leaving you alone on your third day for like 15 minutes. Here's how to answer the phone. You're going... Uh, death sentence, actually. Um, you're going to jail for that one. But it was funny because he was, later on, he was like, did you, uh, did you and make any calls? And I was like, I tried, but I didn't know how. Um, because I dialed the numbers and it was like, not possible. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll do something else. Um, and so I did. And then when he asked me like eight hours later, if I had made any calls, he was like, oh, I set you up for failure. Cut totally my bad. And I was like, honestly, good. I didn't want to fucking do it in the first place. Thank you, though. Um, me and my, <laughs> me <laughs> and my sick and shaking of you saying I didn't want to do drive through and him putting my contact in as Grace drive through operating. <laughs> Liter nightmarish. Oh my god. And again, I'm sure it won't be that bad, but honestly, the thought of going back... Uh, it's And it's definitely like, I haven't been paid yet, so I'm still feeling the financial hurt. Um. So it's not... It hasn't exactly set in that I'm going to be able to be financially comfortable again pretty quickly here. Well, maybe not pretty quickly because arguably um it's going to take a minute to save up money again. <laughs> I I hope so. But I'm really scared that even this really big check I'm going to get is going to be disappointing. Um, because I, um, I forgot. My bad. Never mind, I guess. Art. So true, Anonymous Red. Say that. Um, also, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Art. I keep trying to re remember to like look up the lyrics to this song to understand what the fuck it means. But really couldn't tell you. Depending on when it was released, I feel like it's about the Vietnam War, but I have, I really can tell you. Singing this will be the day that I die. <laughs> what are we working on anyway? Oh, I am. I'm a little bit art blocked right now, so I found this really old pinup of a Cookie Run character. <laughs> um, he's he's a Dilf, so. Uh, that's what we're up to. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Um, I haven't... Uh, I didn't do his lips very good. Um, this is not how I normally draw, <laughs> for the record. Um, but here we are anyway. Um, it's just... It's, yeah, we're just kind of fucking around. Um... 
typically I try to work on like big narrative pieces, but since we're working through really bad art block, I'm just kind of trying to get myself to draw anything, please. Because that's kind of the, the mode we're in. Buy this American pie. Chevy to the levee with the levee was by. Sinking whiskey and rye. As. God. Block, are, blocks of any kind are awful. It's. I wouldn't wish that shit on my greatest enemy. Um. Do you draw? What do you get up to? If not drawing in general. No. Produce too much? So I gotta submit it to. <laughs> well, what are we submitting? My god, go on. Tell us more. My likes is really giving me whiplash. All of my monthly playlists, I know what's going to happen. But my likes, oh god, is anyone's guess? In general, figuring out life after three years. But <laughs> why is it hard to? Hell yeah, what kind of art do you do? It's for the best. You want more when you leave me with us. We're getting increasing my passive income from selling your shit. Hell yeah, rock on. That shit's real hard to do. Um, but I hope it is fruitful for you. And trying, you're sleeping like a baby beside him. Oh, you go. Ooh, what the hell? Get, get a, get a grip. See me, you're making it look so easy. Fine, but what a follow. Fall out through the fall. The fall out. Okay, that's a little better. I mean, the passive income is nothing. I'm gonna get a living from anytime soon. Well, you know. But it's a nice supporting income. Does pay my Adobe Illustrator in a bit. Oh. Hell yeah. I can't even imagine making consistent money off of art, to be honest. I've tried. But. God. Imagine marketing yourself. <laughs> um, rock on Adobe Illustrator, though. A lot of, um, you don't? Then how are you making money? Tell, tell us your secret? What the fuck? This is also specific. Oh, okay, that would, that would probably do it then. But what if I? What's the niche? Can I? Can I ask? Like these are stock vector. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't need marketing then, would it? That's cool. I hope you enjoy it. Vector shit is. Oh my god, it makes me want to rip my hair out. I I'm always just like, I love Adobe Illustrator. Your ass does not love Adobe Illustrator. You're a fucking liar. But I hate Photoshop even more, so in comparison to Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator is my best friend. Um, I've been trying to... Um, you're so brave for that. I, I've been trying to get better, because I'm trying to... I have learned a lot of new shit about Adobe Illustrator recently, because I've been trying to... I've been doing a lot of, like, graphic design shit lately, um, 
So a lot of it I've been in Illustrator for. Um, but I done so for 14 years. That's a lot of years. Um, I'm just a little guy. <laughs> uh, but I, um, what the fuck was I saying? I don't remember. So never, never mind. Do, do, do. Okay, now we're fucking talking. Now we're cooking. Oh man, it's already 940. What the fuck? Okay, I guess I'm almost done, so. Love my way. My dude, it is a long time, but I've just for vectors, I guess. Well, you know. Whatever your niche is, no wrong layers. My ass absolutely adds layers in vector drawings, though. So maybe it Maybe I could make a wrong layer moment occur in a vector program. Who knows? I like to get up to some to to some wild shit in my free time. Um, but yeah, I see a lot of really cool vector art that I like to be able to do. I just it's just hard for me to wrap my head around simplifying things down um to work in a vector program. Um, no, literally no way of doing wrong layers in Illustrator with everything being honest on the layer. That's true. But still, wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> um, you just move them around within different groups and top layers. I suppose that's true. Man. Ru ruining my joke. My <laughs> No big deal. I forgive you. I'm sure 14 years of vector experience tr trumps my silly little goof. I don't even know what to fucking do with that. I'm I'm not gonna think about it for too long. <laughs> Never Trump's goof. Well, Maybe, maybe sometimes it does. <laughs> By sheer willpower alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At NASA, probably. <laughs> there you go. That's a good example. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. And maybe other places, like, in <laughs> in a surgery room, maybe. Another interesting pick from the likes. This song always, unfortunately, reminds me of Handmaid's Tale. I wish it didn't, but there was a whole episode um, where this song played. Because she was, like, slowly going insane in the in the room because she was, like, by herself for so many hours. And so this song was just playing the whole time. Very interesting episode. I just wished this didn't happen to the song. Yeah. I'm Okay, glad it's not just me. I really have to finish that. Are they still going with that show, by the way? 
or are they fucking done yet? Um, cause goddamn, they should have ended season two. Season two is where it really started to pop, but um, season three was where it started to get like really dog shit. I hope not. I also hope not. Um, <laughs> and I was like minorly disappointed. Um, during COVID when, um, it didn't run, mainly because it had become, like, my summer show in a way, because every Wednesday it would come out and I'd be like, okay, epic Wednesday moment, it's time for Handmaid's Tale. Um, and it was a, it was a pretty show. Like, um, the, the way everything was shot and all that. And I'm always a sucker for a good shot composition. What can I say? Um, I'm a composition fan. Um, unless I'm drawing, in which case I fucking hate composition. Um, but if somebody else is doing it, that's great. Um, uh, but the last the latest season i watched i think it was season 4 what the hello S slow down man i'm i'm not getting it anymore like i really couldn't tell you where they were planning on taking this honestly if it was getting to the point where i was starting to think like okay at this stage the daughter or whatever is going to be really fucking confused um if she ends up being saved um by um her mom so like what what do we do there and they were talking about like other children who have been saved from their like freakazoid family um and so having them bring up those problems and then ha like we have to deal with the fucking consequences of that also there's this really weird scene where um and we don't talk about it at all so the main character who is really boring by the way um is like super angry and like murderous now that she's gone through trauma um and it made me it really made me wish anyone else was the main character because there are so many other cooler nicer ladies who probably would have tried to heal but not her not this bitch uh um which is fine I guess you don't have to want to heal or whatever, but it's like, I, I would have liked to see you get better or, or whatever. Um, instead she kills someone. Um, <laughs> and it's, it, I think it implied at the end of season four that, um, as a result of her literal murder because she she fucking killed the guy uh her husband is like because you know she killed a man uh so i can't even, I can't even blame him like they've been apart for a really long time so having them drift apart definitely really fucking sucks because it's like that's 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 the whole fucking show has been us praying hoping dreaming that she gets back to her her guy um but instead we get back to the guy and it looks like insta divorce because she's not trying to become better um and she still has one of her two children so it's like not to be like maybe you should be thankful for what you have i know you lost one kid already but like at the same time, you are actively choosing to lose, um, s like, your husband, who, you, who you've been fighting to return to for a very long time. I just, I just didn't get it. 
Um, it, but the weird scene in question, I, f- I forgot. I was in the middle of talking about that. Um, you know, like, I don't know. Yeah, like, you've escaped, and she was like, yeah. She was weird about it, to be honest. And she had several opportunities to escape. She had the plane. She had the truck, I think, in, like, season two. Um, it, yeah, it was, it was, it was just a bunch of opportunities for her to keep being in the fucking situation she was in. Um, which was, oh my god, really annoying. And then, um, it, it would have been fine if she had been stuck in Gilead for longer. But honestly, the fact that she escaped without her daughter, I'm leaving. I, you're going, you're going to jail. Um... I don't want to talk to you anymore. Uh, it's it's been such like a long and arduous show. I I just want to see one fucking person happy, please, dear God. And I mean, like, what's her nuts? I forget her name. Um, but her the like the lesbian best friend. Um. Yeah, that sucks. Give me a hand on that's all. Yeah. Just give me jo- Joji. <laughs> it's been a minute since I listened to this one. Um Moira, that's it. Uh, thank you. Um The okay, the fact that Moira helped her get out, or whatever, June, get out. And then she was weird about it. And then her, like, girlfriend got pissy at her for helping June out. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Really fucking annoying stuff from season four. I might read, like, a nice plot synopsis of season five or something. Because of how dog shit season four was. There was, like, a lot of, like, courtroom shit in season four, which I was a big fan of. Um, well, I could have been a big fan of it. I don't fucking remember because of how much of the show was really dog shit. <laughs> um. But. It, the, like, on top of all the courtroom shit, it was, like. Okay, June, it's time to go to therapy to start healing. And she was like, what if I don't want to heal? What if I want to be evil? And then everyone's like, um... Well, Moira's like, um... And the therapist's like, um... And then everyone else is like, yeah! Let's kill people! And then they kill... Um... The the guy... Which is fine, like, good goodbye, you know? Because he's, like, shitty to Serena, and he also was, like, one of the main dudes um, who committed these crimes. Um, pretty work in your portfolio. Aw, oh, thank you. Um, really need to work on that. <laughs> um, I had... A visceral reaction to the word portfolio. Um, <laughs> I, uh, what was I talking about? There's many reasons we should be complete. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Never mind. Uh, can't you see? Da, 
shitty layout though could give you some pointers if you want or leave them out if you I'm not concerned about it. I, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Two songs off that album have come on now. That's jail. That's the death sentence. It's my least fucking favorite album I've listened to this year. Despicable. Might even be a zero. I gave it a really nice rating earlier, but honestly, I can't stand listening to it. Uh, and I mean, it was fun at first, but I, God, really not in the mood. I'm sorry, wait, what album is this? Um, Green Nahide. Trilla suggested it for March when I was going to do Green Albums. And I listened to it in April because I was really struggling during April because March was so fucking poppin'. Love the train songs. Thank you, they're Beanie Babies. Um, this is Patty, and this is Snort. They're the gay ones in my brain. Um, Beanie Babies. Um. Uh. But, I yeah, I listened to it in April. It was not my favorite album. It had potential, in my opinion. But I... Uh, oh, shit, it's almost 10. You're right. Fuck. I was really close. I think the proportions are still kind of fucked up. That's okay. I'm not too concerned. I'm gonna before you get off. I probably have to go to. What? what? Hold it now. What the fuck do I hold it now? Hold it down. Okay. <laughs> Using your drop yet? Um. Okay. Let me. I don't know what time is it. What's going with your crew? Oh. Oh. Emma is on. You know you want me. You saw I know you're hungry. Got money, but... Oh man, that shit sucked. Country of Africa. Oh, she's got Halloween degree. She's got a tiny cowboy hat. What the fuck? Hey, what the fuck? That's okay. Um. Wow, I had Clip Studio Paint open the whole goddamn time. Oh, and it's because. Stop. Start. Okay. But Clip Studio Paint open the whole goddamn time because it's been downloading some shit when it wasn't. Uh, it was just sitting there for like two and a half hours. Um, so shout out Clip Studio Paint. That was really fun. Thank you so much. Um, okay. I think I'm going to try and stall for Grace. Um, but Emma is playing Limbo, which we played around this time of year for Halloween. Uh, wow. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, but we are going to enjoy a bit of Limbo, um, which we played around this time. You are very welcome to stream. Um, tomorrow's my day off. I will see everybody Thursday again for whatever the fuck we end up drawing then. Godspeed out there. I love you.